Hello everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is my first Creative Memories video and I wanted to thank everybody who took the poll on my group page. Um, most people said they were interested in family photos and travel photos. So this evening I thought I would feature some of the travel albums I've done and some ideas that for you that you could possibly work on with your own travel photos. So with Creative Memories, I've done a variety of different types of albums. Um, and one really great thing that you'll notice is that Creative Memories offers these spines where you can individualize them and have them printed. So I've got one on La France, uh, Portugal, Egypt. Uh, I've got one called Where in the World. And I just wanted to show you a little bit of what I've done in my travel albums. So if you look at the Egypt album, this is a traditional 12 by 12 Creative Memories album. And in the album, uh, you'll see that I've used the traditional pages with the page protectors. And I was able to scrap a trip to Egypt. So I spent a few months there on a temporary duty assignment with USAID and Richard and Rachel came to visit. And you'll notice that this is just a very simple layout uh, using cardstock to mat the photos. And then I've used some letter stickers and cardstock just to make uh, the title page. And here, you know, I thought I'd be really fancy and I cut the photo up so the cardstock peeks through. Um, and this is just a very simple border that I made using a strip of cardstock with several pictures. So this, again, is a very uh, kind of traditional type of scrapbook, very simple. Um, I included maps, I've included my business card here. Um, these are actually photos of me with work. I was working with the Egyptian uh, Sesame Street. This is me with some of my colleagues visiting the Sesame Street as they were filming. Um, so it's quite fun. And then got a little fancy on this page, so I used punches to punch out these different shapes to make my title page. But again, I'm just using cardstock here. Um, no stickers. I've included things like my plane ticket stub, some memorabilia that I've saved. Uh, I've just done some very simple journaling on a piece of cardstock. So this is just super simple album that you can make using cardstock and your own pictures. And frequently what I like to do also is to cut out uh, information from some of the travel guidebooks I've had and include that in. Um, so it gives you great detail on uh, some of the photos and the places that I was able to visit. One thing I love also to do in my uh, travel albums is to include some small bills and money from the countries I've been in. So this is just an example of a traditional Creative Memories album with a customized spine. So when it's on my bookshelf and I want to look at Egypt, I can easily pull it off. Now, that's a little bit more work. You have to cut things out. In my trip to Portugal, I used what's called a Fast to Fab album. And these are pre-designed pages, so they come pre-printed. And all you have to do is print out your cards, your photos, and paste them in. And I've used a little bit of memorabilia and some uh, different stickers and other things from Creative Memories to decorate it. But this whole page layout you see here is actually pre-printed on the page. So really all I did was stick this picture printout right here, which is actually from my Facebook page, and I put the little airplane memorabilia on. So again, all you see, the borders and everything are pre-printed, and then I just taped down my photos. Uh, I did use some big sticker letters here to do this, but these pages take essentially like five minutes. You just print out your photos, slap them down, and there you go. So again, on this page, all of this stuff was pre-printed on the page. So the uh, matting you see in the background is pre-printed on the page. I just printed four by six photos, taped them down, and I added this little bicycle. Uh, for a little flair, but you don't even need to do that. So with the Fast to Fab albums, you can create them very rapidly, and really all you need is to print your pictures and have some tape runner to tape your photos down on the page. So um, just some ideas here. So again, 
photos. I like to sometimes use posts from Facebook. I think it shows the sign of the times. Um, you know, maybe in 20 years, people won't really know what Facebook was. And so it's a historical memory. Um, I used actually a shape maker to cut out this mat and this picture of my friend Kim and I. Um, and then here, I printed this out from my guidebook again. And this was a walking tour that we did from our guidebook. Um, and then just using little pictures I printed out. So this is a really super quick way to do a travel album. They're called, again, Fast to Fab. So that's that. And then if you want an eas even easier option, Creative Memories makes pocket albums. And these are more like those traditional old albums with pockets where you just slide in your photos. Um, so here we go. This is actually an album where I was sticking photos. I'm hoping one day to make a fancier, more traditional scrapbook layout from it. But here, while well, I was living in Macedonia, and in 2011, Richard and I visited Macedonia, Switzerland, Italy, Greece, Michigan, Paris, Texas, and California. And so I've printed and tucked the photos in here um, for safekeeping, but actually I may never actually make this into a real photo album because I think it turned out so well. But with these, it's much like the traditional albums and that you just print your albums and slip them right in the pockets so you can get several pictures and they all have both landscape and portrait orientation and then creative memories also makes what we call map packs and these are these little cards of paper which slip in to help you decorate your pages and they make them look a little fancy and you've got these little title bars down here too so this was our trip or our life in Macedonia, um, you see that these map packs come in very vibrant colors. Um, so I matched this one actually to the fruit that we got at the farmer's market. I always have a lot of food pictures. Um, and these actually are just different places that we visited and shopped. And then in addition to these pages where you can, again, slip in individual mats or photos, you can also get these full page things where you can put in bigger memorabilia. So I've just tucked in uh, an old brochure and some other things to have them in here. Um, you can also use a piece of 12 by 12 card stock, make your page and just slip it in this full page here, as opposed to just uh, scrapbooking on the traditional page. So, you know, I've done this calendar, which is written in both Serbo-Croatian and uh, this is Albanian language. Um, and again, just more pictures that you slide in really quickly. Some of them I've matted with colors. Um, so it's just a very fun and quick way to get some of your memories into an archive safe album. So you'll preserve your memories in a very quick and fast way. Uh, and then lastly, I would like to share an album which is really kind of near and dear to my heart. Oops, I'm albums are crashing but that's okay. Um, this is currently a travel album cover available on Creative Memories with a map of the world. So it's great for travel pictures from any place. But for me, what I've done, I'm doing a series of where in the world is Leanna? And what I'm doing is a one to two page spread layout for every country in the world that I've visited. Um, for me, I'm going on about 60 countries right now. So I actually put Volume one here, uh, I'm working on volume two, so I think I'll have several albums. But I'm doing this with a lot of products that are both creative memories and not creative memories that I've been uh, kind of hoarding over the years that are travel related. Um, and I made, using my Cricut cutter, this logo, Where in the World is Leanna? And I've got this little passport, uh, fake passport book I found, which I've included in here. I put stamps from different sticker packs and from countries I've been to. Um, and so you'll see, so this is the first page I've done. And I try to put a couple of classical photos. I've got a printout of my visa from my passport. Where in the world is Leanna? I've made this an interactive album. And so this is France. And then up here I put every year that I've traveled to France. So. It's, it's been quite fun working on this. Uh, so here we go. I mean, I think this is uh, pretty easy to guess. This is England. So 
Again, uh, on every page, I'm trying to include the flag, some iconic photos, if I had a visa, a copy of the visa. Um, and then sometimes I put journaling and other things in here. I found these great cutout um, titles uh, in a pack in a scrapbooking store. But it's quite fun, it's interactive. Uh, page I can't put on the page protectors because I made it interactive but I made a conscientious choice to do that so here if you look closely we're at a Christmas market and yes uh, Richard and I are in Germany and so we've got tickets from different things that we've done just very much a lot of fun so here this page uh, iconic photos you can see my wooden shoes so you'll all guess that I'm in the Netherlands. We've got Belgium, which I only visited temporarily one time because I was traversing Belgium in a car. My car broke down on Easter break and I ended up spending a weekend there. And this actually was, um, I've taken multiple trips to the Caribbean. So I decided just to do a page for the islands and not try to do one separate for each island nation. I've used these great peekaboo pockets with USAID. So if you have too many pictures to fit on a page, you can use these great peekaboo po pockets, which allow you to do this kind of flip up with your different pictures. Um, here I am with my bestie, Kim, who used to work on a cruise ship. So I went on a cruise and we visited multiple islands with her. Um, with my sister, Minda came along. Here we are relaxing. It's one of my favorite pictures of us. And then actually Kim got married in the Caribbean. Uh, so that's a picture of her wedding there. And then I've also included some paper money. And this is another one of the peekaboo pockets, allowing me to add some extra pages. So my idea behind this is that for some of these countries, I really don't have enough pictures for a full album, but they'll at least get their page in my Where in the World is Liana album. Um, and this actually is the page, I have to share this. It's one of my all time favorite countries. Where in the world am I? I've got baobab trees and babies. And here, actually, I'm in Senegal. And this is my visa. I did my junior year of university in Senegal. You see some uh, CFA, the money from West Africa at the time. This is my student card from the University of Dakar. And here I am doing some African dance classes. Uh, so this is just all sorts of fun. I'm having a wonderful time creating this. I've actually started on volume two. I'm on about country 26, so not quite halfway in my tours around the world. Uh, but I've actually ordered three of these albums with this wonderful world map cover so that I can finish my Where in the World is Liana album series. So I hope this has helped to give you some ideas and I will actually post below some links to some of the items I featured. Thank you.